If a human is simple-minded, formulate such profound statements which they can't possibly understand. If a human is smart, perform dazzling acrobatics with your UFO. When meeting politicians on Earth, hide your space watch, they might steal it. When meeting a human celebrity, tell them they were chosen by higher powers. When meeting someone with German accent, be very polite. They might be descendants of Nazis. They build cool saucers with our help. They might have a house on the dark side of the moon. We might get an invite for a few days, if you are lucky, to Oktoberfest. When meeting a doctor, say something grandiose about the universe and the purpose of life in general. A doctor could be someone cutting open a patient we implanted into and find our implant. He will understand if he thinks he is aware of the big picture. When meeting tribesmen in isolated parts, give them sweets and a flashlight. Keep them in the dark with respect to the world, since it is an ongoing experiment. We made bets on when they are going to find out that they live on a shithole rock. The previous manual also demanded of you to discontinue messing with cars before abduction. It was fun for decades, but now a change is needed. So all of you shitbirds still doing it, stop! If the Nordics come, be polite as hell. If humans see us together, even better. This is good PR for us. Plus, we need them on our side if push comes to shove with the reptilians. Shoot the reptilians heads off and bury them for the next iteration of humans to find them in 10,000 years. They be really surprised. Always mess with fighter jets. We won them on talk shows in awe about us. A pact was signed with demons. If they have a job, you do not interfere and neither will them. If this pact is broken, we take it up to the local rep of the Galactic Council. She lives in the New York subway. You do not act without orders. You get a medal if you get someone on a talk show by scaring the hell out of them. You'll get the publicity medal of excellence for representing us.